Narendra Modi seems to have finally made it to the Kisan Parliament. Okay, maybe not quite, but he is certainly the topic of discussion on this, the last day of the Kisan Sansad being run entirely by women. आज मोदी जी मन की बात करेंगे अरे इनकी भी देश का करोड़ों के इंसान यहाँ बैठा है मजदूर जो दुनिया का पेट भरता है धरती की छाती चीर के इस देश के लिए अन्न पैदा करता है हर किसी की भूख मिटाता है आज वो अन्नदाता सड़कों पर आठ महीनों से मौसम की मार भी झेल रहा है सब बरसातें भी चली गई सर्दी भी चली गई गर्मी भी चली गई सरकार को शर्म नहीं आई कि भाई हाँ मेरे 600 से ज्यादा किसानों ने यहाँ शहादत दे दी है यह सरकार सत्ता में रहने के लायक नहीं है जो किसान विरोधी सरकार है ये तो शुरू से ही पूंजीपतियों की कारपोरेट सेक्टर की सरकार रही है यू नो दैट द फार्मर्स हैव बीन कमिंग टू जंतर मंतर टू होल्ड वॉट दे कॉल अ फार्मर्स पार्लियामेंट सो टुडे इज द लास्ट सेशन ऑफ द फार्मर्स पार्लियामेंट एंड टूडे वॉज डेडिकेटेड ओनली टू वुमेन पार्लियामेंटेरियंस सो दिस इंक्लूडेड वुमेन farmers as well as women activists from a variety activists and scholars from a variety of walks of life from all over the country who came as delegates here to participate here so a, lo- a range of issues were raised along with opposition to the farm laws basically i think what happened here was what should be happening in our parliament but doesn't and cannot because uh, they there was a very serious discussion of policies and what kind of policies are needed for our farmers for our workers for food security aur adhyaksh mahodaya main ke sarkar se ye prashn karna chahti hu aapke madhyam se ye kehte hain ki aan data ki hum jo aamdani hai wo dugni kar denge jo log jo sarkar hame hamari jo cost hai minimum support price to hai ensure nahi kara sakti please time wo hame hamari jo aamdani hai wo dugni kaise kare time over time and uh, uh, also uh, the kinds of uh, threats that are existing to democracy to fundamental rights in this country uh, to human rights in this country we as taxpayers you know it uh, the the government uses our money so what should be should they be spending that on and what should they not be spending it on all these were discussed here today hamari awaaz jo aadi right to speech totally khatam ho gaya hamari democracy jab right to speech nahi hai to democracy bhi nahi hai वो भी टोटली खत्म हो गई वो भी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के खिलाफ हो गया मतलब ये कि इनको क्यों जाना चाहिए वो इसलिए जाना चाहिए क्योंकि राइट टू स्पीच खत्म मजदूर असंतुष्ट किसान सड़कों पे so most of the speakers here spoke in support of a no confidence motion for the current government modi government because uh, all these issues that they raised and discussed very seriously now i found it very impressive here that the speeches given they were not just rhetoric they were very well researched and yet very brief and very precise very sharp pointed speeches and yet uh, they were speaking in a polemical way saying that the government is of the day is absolutely uh, doing the exact opposite of what this country needs they are destroying um, agriculture they are destroying food security they are destroying health and education and they are promoting hate speech they are promoting uh, you know they are selling everything away literally to foreign corporations and uh, indian corporations and uh, they are putting uh, our rights as citizens in uh, and especially women's rights in great uh, uh, danger because they are uh, they 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 are intending to basically erode everything that as a country as a society we have fought to achieve in the last 75 years hum chahte hain ki ye tina karon rat hone chahiye aur jo kuch bhi ye modi sarkar ne kiya hai har pakh mein ye modi sarkar jo hai pher hui hai isliye hum house ki taraf se ye baat karte hain ki ye modi sarkar barkhast honi chahiye modi sarkar kursi ke baithne ke layak nahi hai yesterday it seems there was an event here which was extremely dangerous and uh, it should be a warning bell to all of us basically a hindu supremacist show in which they shouted slogans calling to cut down muslims they uh, raised uh, and they raised uh, they continuously said that the law of the land is basically foreign and so we need to uh, uh, you know it's british in origin foreign in origin and we need to replace it with indian laws but they do not mean you know colonial era laws they don't want they don't have any opposition or hostility to colonial era laws like sedition or uapa they say for them what they mean when they say foreign law is the constitution of india 
So the RSS has always maintained that the Constitution of India was a, a, for, a foreign inspiration and they always insisted that it is the Manusmriti which should be the Constitution. And the Manusmriti of course is the document of subjugation and slavery for women and Dalits in particular and oppressed castes. So uh, I think that this is a clear and present, you know, the very fact that they could hold this event here and get away with it. They spoke the language of terrorists, they spoke the language uh, of, uh, of uh, violence and yet there is no arrest. Whereas those who have spoken the language of peaceful protest are in jail today in so many, in large numbers under sedition or under UAPA, right? So this tells us and then we also raise the issue here about Pegasus snooping. The fact that the government says we don't have money for farmers, we don't have money for education or for health or for anything else that counts. And yet they have a 1.5 crore per phone and they have used that money to surveil thousands of phone numbers of journalists, activists, Supreme Court judges, army officers, you name it. You know, so and women, ordinary women uh, who are not in public life, they have all been subjected to this kind of surveillance and at this kind of money. This is our money. Why are they not spending it to save lives from COVID? 40 lakh people have died in this country of COVID and yet, you know, they are behaving like everything is normal, right? So we should certainly be uh, concerned about this. We have, and it's very important that this, uh, this uh, women's parliament raise this issue, this farmers parliament raise these issues. These are issues every citizen should be raising. And also this is uh, one last thing that this, this, this event, um, I think it's a reminder to us that uh, we don't just cede away our uh, democracy to our MPs or our MLAs. We as citizens have every duty as well as every right to actually weigh in on all issues that concern us, to educate ourselves, to inform ourselves and to form an opinion and to uh, and certainly to protect constitutional rights, values and uh, you know especially the rights of the oppressed uh, uh, people, minorities, women, you know uh, basically to uh, f you know to fight for the rights of those who are weaker in society, those who have been made weaker and kept weaker in society. <laughs> सभी लोग वास करते हैं अगर गुलदस्ते में एक फूल ना हो तो वो गुलदस्ता कंप्लीट होता है